Why wouldn't United States let China join the International Space Station? Is China building a space restaurant because space food tastes better? You may have already seen the viral video of Chinese astronauts grilling food in a space station. But what about the International Space Station? Can they cook food there? Oh, sorry, not yet. The reason is very simple, because the United States view China as an enemy, as a threat. So United States wouldn't let China join the ISS. I don't know if the US president have made America great yet, but they definitely made China great. So here's a little fun fact about not many people know, but it shows you how exactly and unintentionally US has been making China great all along. So back in the 90s, all the developed countries together decided to build the International Space Station. We got America, Japan, Russia, and the European countries, and America was the leader of that project. China also applied to join, and US is like, <laughs> who are you? We're gonna reject you for political and safety concerns and Chinese like bitch whatever you don't let me in fine I will build my own so in the past decades China has poured massive resources energy money into space projects developing the technology and finally in 2022 we finally built our own space station from the design to development everything was built by China on our own and and by the end of 2030 the international space Space station is scheduled to retire. By then, the Chinese station will be the only one left in orbit. So the good thing is our station is open for collaborations with all countries, you know, like Japan, India, the European countries. They all got their projects proved. They can all go up there, do their research. But there is only one country can come. <laughs> And guess who? And it's not because China is petty, it's because US is literally holding itself back. Because in 2011, US passed a rule called Wolf Amendment, basically it shuts down any form of cooperation between NASA and China. But that rule doesn't apply to private US institutions. In fact, there were American University, I think there were two of them, actually borrowed the moon samples collected by China. But because of that damn rule, they cannot get funding from NASA for this particular project because these are the moon rocks collected by China. And honestly, if I were the professor or the researcher, I would be so pissed. Like, what the hell, bro? Although the reason is kind of ridiculous, I know a lot of people wouldn't believe me, but growing up in China, I can tell you no Chinese will think United States is an enemy because any other country outside of China, you are either, we either don't care about you or think maybe we can make friends and get some mutual benefit. That's it. Why would you identify another country as an enemy unless that country either is invading you or fighting with you, then that's enemy. But before a country actually invade you, you are either stranger or friend. You wouldn't be enemy. <laughs> but, but okay, people wouldn't believe. But that's Chinese way. Chinese, Chinese wouldn't think anybody as enemy until they actually hurt you. Because that's the best way. Then you have for friends. Think about it. You live. We are neighbors. We are neighbors in the village of the earth think about it when you live on earth uh, on a village you think people around you are your friends or enemy what's the right attitude the only right attitude is friends <laughs> if people hasn't heard you yet you will think they are enemy that's the wrong attitude but it's very hard to convince uh, the United States. Somehow, a lot of people just think China is enemy, kind of like a religion. Like, they just believe China is enemy. But ask them to name something China did to her then, like they're dressing up with all made in China stuff, buying all this made in China stuff, or selling soybean to China maybe, but they still think China is enemy. I know why actually, because they are afraid 
when China become powerful, China will do the things that European country or United States will do. Will expand. Will take other people's land. That's how European country treat other country. When they are the strongest, British colonize so many country in Asia. So that kind of mentality, you had that mentality. So you look at China and you think when China become the strongest nation in the world. China is gonna do the same thing to the rest of the world. Colonize the network. That's why they believe that China will be enemy. But think about it: for two thousand years, for the longest time in the history, China was the strongest nation in the country. But China didn't colonize other country, right? China. Has the ability to colonize, say Malaysia. China actually sell to Malaysia in Ming Dynasty. With why? Why would you colonize another country just because you are stronger? That's the part Chinese will will not do. But European people will not believe it because. They took North America. They took South America. They took a lot of Asian country. They took Africa. They wouldn't believe China wouldn't do the same thing. But <laughs> I have no world. So from my experience, grow up in China. Of course, you get propaganda from the government about other country. Let me tell you what are the some talking point of Chinese propaganda about United States. One, they are a wealthy country. Two, their technology more advanced than us. We need to learn from them. Three, their democracy. Are not fitting for our situation for a lot of reasons. I don't even remember, but that's the talking point. That's pretty much it. So, and then most people form their own own opinion about other country because because the world is not just two country. It's not just China and the United States. When try. Chinese people live in China. They don't think about United States, okay? If they think about foreign country, they they have to think about Japan. They have to think about Germany. They have to think about Australia, Italy, France. United States don't often come into people's mind, and when they come, usually it's a shining example of. Of wealthy country with advanced technology, but their way of running the country might not like us. That's it. And I grow up from very, very good opinion about United States, and that is why I come to the United States. I don't think I have any negative. Opinion, because I don't care what country was wrong. If the talking point tell me that the democracy in, in in the United States is is not fitting for us, so be it, right? So I don't form a negative opinion just because of that. So the people around me are the same thing. Mostly have very preferable opinion about United States, and my friends are watching sitcom. Of the United States more than I do, they they like some of the brand of the United States more than I do. I can't find find negative opinion. There's some young people, some young people go online. They they will say why United States treat us like that, why they treat us like enemy. They must be our enemy. That there, that that、uh, attitude, of course. But I'm telling you. Normal people just don't have a.
kind of agenda to somehow have animosity towards any other foreign country, <laughs> not just United States. Okay, one more example. Confucius Institute. So China tried to push Confucius Institute as a way to let people know about Chinese culture because Chinese culture was very confusing. <laughs> Confucius Institute. And most of Confucius Institutes were closed in the United States because the people in the United States think that is a spy organization. That's how one-sided the animosity is. Is China building a space restaurant because space food tastes better? You may have already seen the viral video of Chinese astronauts grilling food in a space station. But what about the International Space Station? Can they cook food there? Oh, sorry. Not yet. They are still eating canned food or squeezing meals out of tubes like toothpaste. That's because building a kitchen in space requires advanced technology. Right now, Chinese astronauts on the Tiangong Space Station have a menu of around 190 dishes, including soups. Achieving that level of cooking in space is extremely difficult. For example, the ventilation system has to be built directly into the oven. In their gravity, hot air doesn't rise, so heating food even is a challenge. The International Space Station tried to bake cookies in 2019. They baked for two hours and ended up burnt and dry. But China's barbecue, golden brown and juicy, even better than on Earth, because the moisture can't escape from the food. Here's what makes it work. First, temperature control. The oven has to keep heat both uniform and stable. No burning allowed. Second, crumb collection. Any floating crumbs could cause trouble in a wetness cabin. And finally, smokeless system. The cooking fumes are cleaned and recycled into breathable air, even converted partially into oxygen. Everything inside the space station is recycled. All water, including waste water and urine, is purified and reused as drinking water. Air is filtered and refreshed the same way. The new system can reach 190 degrees Celsius up from the previous 100 degrees Celsius limit. Right now, China is the only country capable of greening fresh food in space. So let's imagine the moon-based Chinese restaurant in the future. And it's not just the chicken wings. Soon astronauts will be able to prepare vegetables, nuts, cakes, and meat. The meal cycle has been extended to 10 days with more variety and balanced nutrition to prevent calcium loss and fatigue. And the food doesn't even have to be shipped from Earth. Chinese astronauts grow their own vegetables in space. Ladies, tomatoes, sweet potatoes, and carrots have already sprouted. The first harvest produced 4.5 kilograms. And J.D. Vance once called us Chinese parents. Well, wherever Chinese people go, we never forget two things. To farm, to eat. Eating well is a serious matter. Speaking of which, when will the U.S. government reopen and finally help the 42 million Americans who still can't get food stamps? Now look at the International Space Station because of the Wolf Amendment, which bans Laza from cooperating with China. The U.S. excluded China years ago. Now the result is clear. China built its own space station, and the Chinese astronauts are grilling chicken wings, while theirs are still eating out of cans and toothpaste. Cooperation would have been great, but instead they choose to block everything. What a pity. Follow me on Easter Perspective. So what lesson can we draw from this scenario? It's a powerful one. Exclusion does not always stop progress. Sometimes it fuels it. <laughs> By being shut out of International Space Station, China wasn't just handed a no, but it was handed a challenge. And you have seen what they have done with the challenge. And in rising that challenge, yeah, <laughs> it didn't just build its own station. It innovated in ways that no one else had. And I am sure it has exceeded the expectation of those who kind of <laughs> excluded them, giving its astronauts a quality life that simply didn't exist before on space. So this story, I hope it encourages you. Uh, it's a reminder that when you push a determined and capable player into a corner, you don't stop them. <laughs> you just force them to build their own game and sometimes they end up building a better one. 
like the video for recommendation subscribe if you're new here this is comfort for life and i bring to you compilations of tiktok and Reddit videos for educational purposes thank you so much for supporting my content i appreciate you